was introduced to this baby actually uh, while he was a fetus, still in his mother. Uh, we surmise that this baby indeed had one of the more complex syndromes that can occur in any child. It's called the EOIS syndrome, which is an extrophy, which means that all of the intestines and the bladder are on the outside. العمليات هذه احنا عادة نعملها على مراحل الحالة سويناها احنا من تقريبا عشر شهور حق محمد المرحلة الأولى اللي هي مجرد تسكير جدار البطن وفي نفس الوقت استخراج القولون لأن محمد طبعا بسبب التشوه اللي عنده ما عنده فتحة خروج ف Normally, these two pieces are put right together, and uh, the bladder and all of the the urinary tract is um, is fully formed. Unfortunately, he was born with a condition where his uh, his bladder and everything was open to the air, and his abdominal wall also was uh, not fully formed. In addition, he had a spina bifida on the back, and you see how open his spinal canal is. How open his spinal canal is here. And uh, so that had to be repaired uh, almost at birth by one of our neurosurgeons, uh, Dr. Khaled Al-Karazi and his team. The baby was born a little early so that we had to scramble our team early. Uh, and then we performed essentially heroic measures in order to save the baby's life. And then because everything was on the outside, we needed to make a decision as to what needed to get done in order for the baby to continue to live. So we went to the operating room and uh, the first procedure, which is not this one, this is within the first days of life, was essentially to close the intestines because they were open. That's part of the cloacal extrophy. And so we ended up closing that. We made a, a stoma, which is a bag just on the side so that uh, whatever the baby eats can go out the side. And the bladder remained uh, open. And we had to close the entire abdomen with a mesh, kind of like parachute material, in order that things don't remain on the outside. And at the same time, Dr. Jason Howard, who's the pediatric orthopedic surgeon from Sidra as well, he performed these staged procedures where uh, the legs were bowed on the outside and he put these casts in, uh, and, and basically put the baby back together as far as the, the legs were concerned. And at the same time, you needed nutrition so that the baby can heal, you needed the baby to continue to develop. And we really struggled with that because, because of the baby's intestines. Um, we went through a long period of time of trying with the parents, and the parents were fantastic. We would say, let's try these feeds, and sometimes they'd work, sometimes they wouldn't. The baby eventually couldn't eat enough, so we had to put a tube down. And then there was a, some reflux, some of the food came back up, so we weren't providing enough nutrition for the baby to really heal all of this. So then we put a special kind of tube in order to do that. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's a part of all of the things that are going on with the baby, uh, of how complex they are. It will be the second stage of the surgery that uh, Dr. Bibe started. Uh, it will be for the bladder extra. And um, I think all the team will uh, cooperate together. Dr. Jason will make some things for the bone. Dr. Bibi Sali will, uh, will manage the bladder x -ray. Dr. Abdullah will make um, hernia and something for the esophagus. It will be a big uh, surgery. For me, myself, uh, for sure I'm just a, a little bit wired. But inshallah, with the, with the doctors, everything will be OK, inshallah. We were admitted here for uh, three days now. Doctors told me that it may, may be uh, about 16 hours. Today we are going to do the second stage of a very complex surgery for a patient with cloacal malformation, or cloacal extrophy, which is the most severe uh, anomaly that we have in pediatric urology uh, because it involves not only the urinary system, the bladder, but also the intestine and the bones. So we're going to have a teamwork today based on not only urology, that is the main component for the bladder, but we need an orthopedic surgeon to close the bones as they probably explained to you. And the general surgeon is gonna help us to refashion everything, the big hernia that the baby has uh, in the abdomen.
Today what we're going to do is close the, close the bladder, reconstruct the bladder and also the abdominal wall. The way that we do that is, is actually to take the tension off the anterior soft tissues and then to let Dr. Pippi Sala and the, and the team, as well as Dr. Mansour Ali and Dr. David Sigalet and the general surgery team to perform all the visceral work and the abdominal work. So where we're going to make the cuts actually is from right here and right here. And then we rotate this side and this side together like closing a book. When we close the book, we put some pins in the, in the bone here, here, and here, and here. And we use an external fixation device to hold, to hold the pieces together while the bone heals over about four to six weeks. And the reason why we do that is so that we can decrease the tension on the anterior soft tissues so that the bladder and the abdominal wall can be reconstructed in a tension-free manner. You know, the best part about this, I mean, I, I, I had trained in an environment where we literally, literally had everything available to us with every expertise. So right now, you know, we're, we're in an environment where not everything that we want is, is readily available. We have to gather up all the expertise together. And I would say that before this case, 99% of expert physicians would say that this baby would not live and maybe even shouldn't live in a sense of should we even try or should we just do comfort care because that's, that's a reasonable option for some parents. And the best part about this is that should you gather all of the appropriate people together and it's a full team, it's an enterprise more so than just a procedure. But if you get all the right people together, you plan things accordingly, they're well trained, well intentioned, along with the parents that know what they're getting themselves into, should you do all that together, then you can have an outcome where a baby is really doing well. And at the same time, it really sends a message to folks both in this country and in the region, stuff like this can be successful. We just finished the first uh, stage of our um, uh, reconstruction of this cloacal extrophy case. Um, my part was to uh, cut the uh, pelvic bones and derotate them to bring them to the midline so that the soft tissues in the front uh, get a little bit more less tense so that Dr. Pippi Sala, Dr. Abdul Rahman Al Qadi, Dr. Mansour Ali can bring things together and do their reconstruction in a tension free manner. Um, our part of the case was actually, it was a little bit difficult. The boy is quite small. His pelvis is only really about this size, okay, and very, very thin and splayed open like an open book. So what we had to do was work on both sides of the bone, on the front and the, and the back, and then uh, get down into the, the notch behind the, um, the pelvic bone itself. It's a very tight little area. There's some big blood vessels and big nerves there. So there's some important stuff that we have to protect and avoid any injury to. And then we actually use a, a saw and cut the bone right through uh, so that we can twist it and derotate it to the center. We did that the same on both sides and thankfully we had absolutely no problems. We did have a little bit of blood loss, but nothing out of the ordinary and certainly what we expected. Uh, and the boy tolerated it very well. So on to the next phase, which is the bladder reconstruction. And then following that will be the abdominal wall reconstruction. Sometimes the parents, they don't really remember what you did as far as the injection that you gave or the cut that you made or the kind of suture. What they really remember is how you made them feel. And that is actually the single most important thing along with providing the standard medical advice that you're gonna give. A lot of people was caring or caring with Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Jason Howard, Dr. Abdullah Zarouk, Dr. Khaled, uh, Dr. Pepe Sali for sure. I don't need just to forget any one of those, but uh, all are giving the, the, the best care I think they have. This is uh, uh, one of the cases that will help us to eventually show that we have conditions in Doha now to perhaps build the center of excellence for pediatric urology because if we do a case like that which is the most complex one and hopefully will succeed uh, we'll then we'll be able to perhaps establish a, a center for treatment of this complex anomalies. من خلال سدرة وعلى راسهم طبعا سمو الشيخة موزة إن شاء الله بإذن الله نحط إن شاء الله قطرة على الخريطة في جراحة الأطفال إن شاء الله